Finally got him in the mail. Finally got him in the mail. Been waiting for this one right here. The Legend series Venom. Not Venom. This is fake. This is the Venom Pool unboxing of the bootleg Marvel Legends action figure of Venom Pool. I don't know if you guys already checked it out, but check out. I did a fake versus real on this one too. So you guys can see it up close. And I'm doing this episode of This Is Fake. So you guys that don't want to, don't care what the real looks like and just want to see the fake and how it moves and how it articulates and everything like that and see if it's worth it in this episode of This Is Fake with the collector, the collection dimension. With the collection dimension. So I wanted to get up close with this. And again, with this action figure, they never released it in a box. If you guys didn't know, uh, all it says is Venom on it and even on the back right here. So getting up close with it in the back right here, it says Venom. Failed reporter Eddie Brock is hijacked by an alien entity that takes a liking to Earth and decides to protect it. It says nothing about Venom Pool at all. So it doesn't say the symbiote got on Venom Pool. I don't know if you guys know who Venom Pool is, but it's Venomized Deadpool that was taken over and I loved the action figure, the real version. I did an unboxing of that one and I did the fake versus real on this and I fell in love with the, uh, the real version so much. And then when I seen that they did this one and seen that they did a fake and they did it in a box, I had to do the unboxing. So with this figure, I wanna get up close and I know they might come out with this action figure with it in the uh, box like this. And I really think they will because it is a popular action figure, but it won't look like this. So stay tuned and let's get up close. That's not even straight up and down, but here goes the Venom, Venom pool. Not much that he comes with. Let's take him out and get him out the plastic. Let's take a look at him up close. So pulling him out of the box, I see that with these, since the back was bent a little bit and pushed in, that that's what happened to his swords. So that really sucks because I love the swords part of it. I love the swords with him holding the swords and both of them are bent pretty, pretty good. So move those to the side real quick over here. And again, the fists, this one actually is okay. If you look at it, it's just this one comes with the paint chip right there. And then also looking back here, you have this is all torn up. So I don't even know how that's going to go on. I don't know if that's supposed to be broken off. So definitely have to see that. Put that to the side. But let's look at the figure at hand. Pull them up close. And take a look at the articulation of this guy. So I'm loving the way he looks. He looks just like the real version. And he costed 60 bucks from AliExpress all together shipped i don't know if you get like i said check out the fake verse reel to see the details and the differences between them let's look at the articulation well we'll start with his head so head up head down see some of the paint is gone there right there but head moves around real nice side to side Turns like that, arms out, which do nice too. Only thing is, is that come, he came with a paint chip right there. Let's look at the bicep, bicep moves around real nice. Elbow, wrist, oh, so the wrist does not move around that great. And again, this wrist has some of that problem too. So let me pop him back in. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave the wrist at where they're at. Bicep, elbow moves around real nice. Let's see if this wrist does the same thing. Uh, it's cause also this is on. So here, let me pop this off and see how he moves with it, with it off. So 
there we go so the wrist up so it popped off again move the wrist back and that's about that for the wrist elbow moves real nice the shoulder moves around it's stiff but this feels like this joint feels like it's gonna pop out I don't want to push on him too hard then you have his chest with his chest and ab upper ab his moves around real real easy uh, let's see if it holds so it does hold and it's just real loose around there no uh, then he has his waist which waist moves around real nice legs out his upper thighs move which I'm surprised because on some of the other ones that I've done the uh, Deadpool Marvel Legends his thighs actually didn't move so knees moving knee moves nice no issue foot up down same thing knee up down there's only like stuff like that the paint chips right there on the ankle but this figure he actually moves around real nice so the main thing that i didn't like is that sucks too is the, our hands coming out let's see how the other hand goes in see if this one there we go so that moves in now that pops in nice let's do the same thing with this i'm gonna take those off and let's put the this is the one that so yeah this one doesn't go on that great you see right there from the wrist this is that piece maybe i can cut off that little piece but we'll see for now i just want to put it in see how he does which is nice let's see i hose these uh these special swords and it fits in nice let's see how the paint comes off on it so here he goes with the swords and you can hold them both all flimsy and there goes the wrist yeah this wrist right here which i don't like i'm gonna have to see if i have to cut that little piece uh but it's not staying on for this one so that sucks because i want him to hold the knives, uh, the, the sword's real bad. But again, this is the bootleg version, and I got the real version. And on that one, his swords are just fine. And his wrist isn't falling off. So that was the This Is Fake, the bootleg version, knockoff, counterfeit, whatever you want to call it, of the Venom Pool Marvel Legends action figure. So this figure over top, $60. I don't feel it was worth it. I, I want to wait till... NECA comes out, I mean not NECA, Marvel Legends come out with the real version in the box, which I'm assuming they will do because they did that with quite a few of them now. So until then, this was another episode. Shoot it in the comments what you guys think. If you guys seen the fake versus real, which one would you pay $60 for this action figure here? Do you think it was worth it or do you think it's a hard pass? I love the Venom Pool action figure. So this is one figure that I definitely wanted to do the uh, fake versus real. And uh, this is fake so you guys can see it out there just in case you guys are at a con and you guys come across this figure. Um, the thing to look for, the main thing to look for is the glossiness on his chest on the red. The detail isn't there as much as the fake. Uh, I mean, of the real version, the real version, it's uh, not glossy. So that is one thing. And he's darker. So that's one thing to look for. If you're at a con, it's going to be hard to tell. But that's why I do these videos. See if it's worth it and see if it's worth the time. So until next time, this was another episode of This is Fake with the Collection Dimension. We're going to be out. Peace.